Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei, the father of science, was born in Pisa, Italy, in February 1564. No one thought that the boy who was born in a poor family running a dry goods store would be a great scientist in future. Galilei's mother always complained. Phew! I'm sick and tired of it. When can we get out of this poverty? Her anger often fell on Galilei, who liked doing experiments. But his father was always kind and friendly to him. His father taught him French and Greek. He also played the lute sometimes to make Galilei happy. Galilei, go to a monastery and study there. You should be a great man without fail. Galilei's father requested a monastery to allow his son to stay there. Galilei was very happy because he could study. He always led a happy life in the monastery. In particular, his eyes shined more brightly when he heard about math or a famous scholar called Aristotle. One day, Galilei's father and mother had a bad quarrel about his going to college. But his father, who wanted Galilei to be a medical doctor, provided him with sufficient money for school expenses, even in a difficult situation. Galilei entered the medical school at the University of Pisa, but wasn't interested in medical science. He was interested in Professor Rich's lectures on mathematics and physics. Professor Rich taught arithmetic a lot of things. Galilei didn't just stay within the boundary of theory, but he performed experiments in connection with everything he learned academically. Sometimes he clashed with professors when he disagreed with them regarding questions he asked. His such behavior was known to other students and professors. They made fun of Galilei by calling him an eccentric student. Galilei dropped out of school because of his family's difficult economic situation. So he helped his father with his dry goods business. But he couldn't work enthusiastically because he was preoccupied with Archimedes. Why does a boat float while a small stone sinks? At that moment, while walking along a river, Galilei suddenly came up with an important idea. Oh, I'll make a gravimeter. Galilei told his idea to Professor Rich and started his research. He received a lot of help and support from Professor Rich, who also recommended him for a position as professor at the University of Pisa so that he could continue his research. Galilei became a professor, but he was hated by many people in the university because he criticized Aristotle's teachings, which were sanctified then. Because of his criticism, he was called and warned by the dean. Aristotle was a scholar 2,000 years ago. I'll prove that all his theories are not true. Galilei performed an experiment in the Leaning Tower of Pisa in order to prove the incorrectness of Aristotle's theory that a heavier object falls faster than a lighter one. Although his argument proved true, no one thought highly of him. Galilei moved to the University of Padova for freer e academic study and research. He was very popular there. The classrooms he used for his lectures were always full of students and other professors. One day, a German scientist called Copernicus argued, the Earth revolves around the sun. His argument brought about a tremendous problem to the people who believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. Although they thought Copernicus' argument was wrong, Galilei agreed with it. Right! The Earth isn't the center of the universe. Aristotle is wrong. Galilei's argument was a very frightening one, 
that might cause him to face the death penalty inflicted by the Inquisition. Without making haste, Galilei made telescopes and observed stars in order to prove the correctness of his argument. While observing stars, he gradually discovered the mysteries of the universe one by one. In the process, he got convinced of this belief that the Earth revolved around the Sun. As a result, many religious people and scholars criticized him. At last, Galilei was brought before the Inquisition when he was very sick at the age of 69. We are asking you this question again. Do you think the Earth revolves around the Sun? No, sir. My argument is false. Galilei shed tears when he answered. Galilei had to lie and was ordered to stay at home after the end of the Inquisition. Although he felt much aggrieved, he had to remain silent because criticizing Aristotle's arguments would result in a heavy punishment. Later on, Galilei continued his research. Even when he was too old to see, he continued his research. He died at the age of 78 after leaving his name in astronomy and several other academic areas.